the instrument is being mounted on the tripod, the first thing you have to do to make the distance of your tripod leg to be at equidistant to the point of your reference. To be at what? Equidistant. Equidistant to your, your point. And make sure the plate bubble is at parallel. Approximately parallel. As you can see, these are approximately parallel. And the screw, they are in the wall. They are mid center on. Then the first thing to do, press out the leg of the instrument. As you can see, you have seen that it is not at the center anymore. It has moved away from the center. And you make, since we are using laser beam, you make it of the foot screw. To make it come to the center since it's very close to the to our point. That's it. And using laser beam, you make use of the leg of the tripod for our leveling. So first thing you look at here, as you can see, that the bubble is very close to where I am here. That means this side is higher, while this other side is lower. That means it has to be raised up there to make it come to the center. The center of the run. So, the first thing you have to understand is just you have to grip the leg this way so that there will not be a free movement, easy movement. Then you unclamp. You take the bubble and start moving. So it moves in the right direction. As you can see, it's moving. You can tight it there. Because it's on this leg now, as you can see. So that means it has to come down here. The first thing you have to do is try to press it down a little. If it's not moving, then make use of the work. You leave the screw, the leg screw, to adjust. As you can see, the bubble is a little bit close to it. It has been showing on the screen. It's at the center of the run as well as in our point. So you have to make use of the leg, the foot screw. The foot screw, as you can see, it's showing that the foot screw here is the one to use and it's giving you the direction to go. So you move the full screw in direction slowly, slowly, slowly. As you can see, it has been at the center. You mark these two points. As you can see, and tell you that this the third screw should be adjusted. Which will be what? Slowly. You are just slowly in the direction given to you. Slowly. As you can see, it's there. What we are having. That's it. It maintains the center, the point, and also the level. That means the instrument is what? It's level. Once it's level, you can escape. Create a new job. Now to create a new job, what you have to do is that uh, you come to your manage, then you press enter. So now on that manage, you click on job. If you want to create a new job, you click on job, then you press enter. So you click on new, your new button to create the name that you want to give the the job.
So now we can see SUG, continue. we've named it as SUG. Continue. Then you click on continue. You press escape. escape. You press enter to escape. input what you've your what you've done. And come to program. And then you come to program, you press enter. Then you click on sta station setup so that you can put the coordinates of the points where you continue. are. Continue. And you click on continue. Orientation with coordinate. So you use either you can use either orientation with coordinate or bearing. But we are using orientation with coordinate. Then you press enter. Then so you, you give it the name of the station where you are. Maybe is a where you set on is a control. You give it any name of your choice that you know you want to use. You give it so you are naming it as O one zero, and then the height of the instrument. You take the, the release of the height of instrument. You want to take height of instrument. This is where you bring your your tape to this uh, this thing here. This cal this thing that they calibrate here. This point here. You put then you bring it to where the where the the points you are referencing to that is where you bring it to then after you take your readings you input it into the instrument then after you input it you press enter now this is where you supply the coordinates of the job of your location where you set the instrument your x your x and your y but depending on the type of job you are doing if it's a topo job you have to also take note of the height of the pole which is the z which is your Z, but if it's just X and Y that you want to carry out, if it's not a topo, you can just supply the X and Y, then you continue with it. But we are doing an X and X and Y job, we are not doing a topo, so we just supply an a, our X and Y coordinates, then we, we press enter to proceed. So now is this is where you enter your your okay. target point. That is the point where you want to re uh, reference to. Use as your orientation. The points where you want to use uh, for your orientation. You you enter the ID ID of the point, like the name you want to save it with. Then enter. Then you press enter. Continue. In e e e N H. Because we are inputting the, the right. we are inputting the point our orientation point, which is in, in form of using. Nothing and I, so we are put we are pressing F3, which represents the E N H. Once we point on F3, we enter our second coordinate, which we are using for our orientation point, which is 604814.442. Then you press enter to input your nodding, which is Six 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 seven five seven five point eight one four point eight one four four. Then you press enter. Continue. So the point has been set up. So it's not asking us to rotate to a bisect that point of our target, in which. So, as you can see, we have our target, our orientation point, in front of us, and we have to bisect it. Once we bisect, we clear the parallax with this, in order to see our reflector clearly. In case this the, is slow in motion case screen. the crosshair is not coming out. Right in now. case the crosshair is not coming out, you are not seeing it, you could not bisect. You use this to clear your parallax, to clear your crosshair, so that you can have your crosshair clearly. Once you have it, you make it of this bigger knob to focus. Once you focus, this is your slow, horizontal slow motion screw at my right side. 
if you are not bisecting properly, you use it to bisect it. And this is the vertical here. But it's more like then that's our pole man on our point. So we what? We press measure. As you can see, this instrument is a kind of sensitive instrument. The kind of sensitive instrument is telling us that it's, the strength is too much. So it's intentionally done like that so that we can understand something about it. Once you want to do orientation, make it of a far away distance. Maybe you have a far away known point for your orientation. As you can see, it's showing us that station setup result, accurate position, accurate height, and everything. It's telling us to press F4 to compute. Then we press F4. Then we check, we compare. The first thing you've done after your bike setting and everything, you compare your orientation point with the one given to you. Once it's alike, you are free to go. But once it's not, you are not free to go. When you check the discrepancy. So now the discrepancy. Uh, so as you can see, the allowable. discrepancy is allowable. is allowable because it's not much. It's, be, it's after the decimal and very minute, like 1 mm, 2 mm. Like range of 1 mm to 3 mm, or uh, the eastern and the northern. So once it's that, you set. Once you set, and come to survey. Once you come to survey, you press enter. Then continue, as you can see on the screen, that you can bisect to as much point as you want. Then you continue. Once you continue, you start measure to all other points you had wanted to set up or to observe. So let's observe two or three points to show Okay, yeah. Now, as you can see the building, our poor man is moving. He's moving. So, we have to pick the, the detail, the two coordinates of this detail. So, the first thing you bisect your reflector man, then you focus. You bisect with the knob, then you focus to clear the parallels and clear the parallels. The wind, as you can see, if you check inside, because we cannot see, it's not well bisected. So I have to make use of a slow motion screen. This is a horizontal, and here I have my vertical. I have my vertical here. So now it's now aligned to the prism. Then press measure. Once it's measure, it's showing us our horizontal behind this sand and everything. But we press on this page to bring out your coordinate page. Once you press, it brings out our coordinate page. That means this is our new point. Once you have your new point, you press store to save your data. Or you can come here and renew your data. For example, let's renew to be 0 0.3. Then you store. Yes. Enter. You press enter. Then you what? You store. That has been saved. It has counted the next point. So my reflector man will go to the next point now. Then as it's going, I'm going to rotate my instrument. In order to bisect to the new position we are occupying. As you can see, I have to go again and line. I have to focus and line the measure. Now I focus, I've aligned, I've done everything. You have to work measure. You see, because the instrument is quite sensitive. I 
as you have seen, that's measure. And before we measure, it's asking us if we are to work, we put something here. That's our height of the reflector is 1.5. Enter. So, you correct it. We have to work to save and so. So that is out. Okay. Then after you are done, after you are done with the traverse, you save your job, and then you look for a way where you can download it. We have different type of method of downloading. Like on this page now, we can we can use our cable here to download our dot our file, or you use your USB, USB port to plug in this place and then download, or you use your flash drive to. To store the, uh, your data into it, then yeah. you save it, you copy it to your system, and then you process your job. So that is how to carry out a traverse using a local paper station. Thank you. You know, survey job is a family job whereby a person, a local, carry out a field observation. You have to work as a team to get it done. That is why you see my 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 colleagues here. Thank you. We love you. All.